Hello, my name is Hemant Sharma and I'm a technical engineer for Dynalog Intel Limited's educational product. Today, we will be talking about Dyna85 LU, which is a single board computer based on 8085 microprocessor designed specially for training and development. The purpose of this video is to give a brief overview on Dyna85 LU and to show you how easy it is to operate and run the kit. Firstly, let us see what do we get when we unpack the kit. This is a Dyna85 LU kit with an attractive lightweight wooden enclosure. This helps to keep it dust free. A user manual to get all the necessary information regarding the operation, circuit diagram and few sample programs. We also get a CD which comes with a demo software for connecting kit to a personal computer. A set of cables which includes 50 pin, 26 pin, 10 pin and 9 pin D-type along with USB cable and connector for interfacing and further expansion. We get a switchboard power supply which comes with a rating of 5V plus minus 12V and a current rating of 3A for powering up the device. And finally, we do get a IBM compatible keyboard in order to operate this device. Now, I would like to give an introduction about the system hardware as to see what all things are used in order to run the kit. Let us begin with the power supply section. This is a relevant male connector where we need to connect the power supply to the connector to switch on the device. Normally, plus 5 volt is sufficient enough to power on the device, but in order to run the external peripherals, we do require plus minus 12 volt, which has also been provided on the connector. We also have a provision for 5 volt DC adapter socket as well as a terminal block to power on the device. Now, let us come towards the central processing unit. Dyna 85 LU is based on Intel 8085 high performance CPU operating at 3 MHz which is generated by a crystal oscillator which you can see it out here. Now we come to our memory section. A powerful and a user friendly 16 KB system monitor has been provided on a 27128E Pro and a PIO monitor 2732 of 32 KB is also provided. The codes and subroutines are stored on these monitors and are accessible to the user using various commands. A 6264 RAM with 3.6 volt nickel cadmium battery backup which consists of 8 kilobytes of memory is provided on board for fetching and executing the codes. Now let us come towards LCD display and keyboard section. An IBM compatible keyboard with 104 keys and 40 into 2 lines LCD display is provided for interfacing system using 89C2051 microcontroller interfacing module. This is a system using SID SOD lines of CPU to simulate it in virtual serial mode. We have a PS2 connector to connect our IBM compatible keyboard in order to run the kit. We also have a provision to connect 16 into 2 character LCD for display purpose. Coming towards parallel IO interface section, 46 parallel IO lines are provided on board with 22 lines from your 8155 and 24 lines from your 8255 PPI chips. These lines are bought to the insulation displacement connector named as J2 for 8155 and J3 for 8255. To begin with the serial IO interface section, Serial I.O. is available through RS232 compatible port as well as USB host module. The serial input data lines and the serial output data lines are used under software control for serial operation. This is your timer section, a 3 channel of 8253 chip, a 16 bit timer counter. All the lines of 8253 are provided on IDC connector named as J4 in order to use any kind of application related to timer and counter. Coming towards the expansion slot area, it's a 50 pin IDC connector where all the address, data, control and hardware inter interrupt lines of a processor has been synchronized to the connector for further expansion and system interface. An additional prototype PCB area is provided on board for further enhancement of user application. Rest, the components which are there in this kit are your latches, your buffers along with active and passive components. As we all know, the processing speed of a microprocessor is very fast 
and cannot be visualized with our naked eyes. So in order to see the operation and analyze the result, we use latches as a temporary memory. So this was an overview about Dyna 85 LU kit system hardware so as to be familiar with the kit. Now let us begin with the operation of the kit. Before we start the programming section, certain things are to be noted. 1. Please do make sure the jumper settings on board is as per the factory setting in order to avoid any kind of errors to kit. Second, the memory mapping of the user RAM it starts from C000 to FFFF. User could write the program anywhere between C000 to FFFF. Third, get the program along with the hex code which has to be entered. Let us start with the, with the simple experiment of adding two 8-bit numbers and store the result in some memory location. To begin with the experiment, let me power on the device by connecting the SMPS to the kit. While connecting this connector, you need to make sure that these notches are to be placed inside the hole of this connector. And then push it down to lock the connector. Now, we need to connect our PS2 keyboard to this PS2 connector. After connecting the keyboard, now we can power on the device. Once you power on the device, you get a display Dynalog India Limited and it followed by a prompt Dyna85. To begin with the programming section, first of all we need to be aware of the system command which has to be inserted in order to write the program. So following with the instruction command named assemble, the shortcut for it is A, space and then followed by your address location where you want to start the program which I would give it as C000 and then press enter. So the program counter has been initialized. Now we can directly write the program in assembly language. So let us follow the program. MVI A, 0 to enter MVI B, 0, 3 enter add B enter STA C, 0, 5, 0 H enter and then the last instruction to halt the program would be RST space 1 and then enter one more time enter to come into the prompt again so this way we have entered our program into the RAM of it as we have entered the program now we need to execute the program whichever we have written it so for execution we use the command go g o space c 0 0 0 press enter and after 4 seconds you just need to press spacebar okay. you got the prompt dyna85 which indicates that the program whichever he has executed has been executed as the program has been executed now we need to check the results in the register content so for checking the result in the register content we need to use the command r and then press enter so as you can see the display out here the value of accumulator is 0, 05 so we had used a simple addition program and we have added two data 2 and 3 and we got the result as 5 in the accumulator similarly if you would like to see the result on the memory location when we have given it to store the data just escape the device and get back into the prompt use the command d which stands for display memory content d space give the address location where you had stored the result which was C050H and then enter now you could see your result 05 on the particular memory location where you had initialized in the memory 
So this way we execute and check the results on this kit. So if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact our factory or you can log into our website which is www.dynalogindia.com.